You're watching the Channel 2 News Hour, Alaska's most watched newscast. For a few weeks now, the Anchorage Water and Wastewater Utility has been inspecting its sewer lines, looking for potential problems that could mean big trouble down the line. Pretty nasty job, too. They're using some state-of-the-art technology to go underground robots. And the company that created those robots is showing off the latest tool that the city is using. Channel 2's Jason Lamb joins us now from AWWU headquarters with a look. Jason. Hey guys, we're actually coming to you from the camera that's mounted on one of these robots. Now we actually told you about the smaller variety of this robot a few weeks ago. This one, as you can see, is a little bit bigger. And to help tell us a little more about what exactly this thing can do is Michelle Beeson with Red Zone Robotics. So Michelle, tell us exactly the features on this uh, robot and what this thing can do that maybe that smaller one can't. Well, this is a very special robot. Red Zone Robotics was initially a nuclear inspection company. So this is a, a descendant of one of our original nuclear robots back from the 80s. But in 2004, we tailored it strictly to wastewater. It's a very durable machine. It's 800 pounds. It does more than a conventional TV camera. It has a TV camera, of course, but also has an H2S gas sensor because the gases can be very corrosive in sewer, causing failures. So we measure gases, we measure temperature. We have a 3D spinning laser, too, that spins and collects hundreds of thousands of points of data inside the pipe. So we can quantitatively measure if we have a problem in the pipe and what that pipe is and is it at risk of failure. Then below, we have the sonar. So below the water, where otherwise you can't see, the sonar measures debris. So sonar will is a beacon that goes around, it'll measure the debris in the pipe, and then we can quantify and tell the utility, do they need to clean the pipe, how much debris is in the pipe, are we restricting our capacity? And this thing can move around too, look at that, okay. Now, one of the things that the city mentioned is they found a lot of fog, or fats, oils, and greases in their pipes, uh, just in the few weeks they've had this. What's the big deal about that? Fog is a huge problem. A lot of people don't realize when they put grease down their drains, it's hot when they put it down their drains, but when it gets into the sewer, it coagulates and coats the pipe walls. Kind of like when we eat fatty food, it coats our arteries. So that grease will build up and close in the sewer, which could cause an overflow. So it could back up to people's homes or go onto the streets or their yard. It also is very corrosive. So it could eat away at the pipe walls, causing a failure in the pipe. Okay, and the last question we have here, everybody's talking about cost, but what about the cost of letting a problem like fog or another sewer issue get out of hand and then you have a bigger problem to deal with? Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. It has been very proactive. You know, proactive is much more better than reactive, right? When a pipe fails, we have to dig up the street. It impacts customers and homeowners and traffic. Everything's much more costly when it when we are re in reactive mode. By inspecting before, we can catch problems before they become a failure. So if we go in the pipe and we inspect and we find a crack, we can do lining, we can do spot repairs to fix that before it collapses, before it's more costly. All right, Michelle with Red Zone Robotics, thank you very much. And we were actually out in the field today and we saw this thing in action. We saw it actually pick up on a very small leak in one of those sewer lines, so it's already at work, Mike, Maria. Very interesting. Yeah, Jason, just one thing. If you touch the sewer robot, you have to wash your hands before you come back to the newsroom, okay? Extremely very well, well very please. well, absolutely. All right. All right. Channel 2's Jason Lamb reporting live tonight. Thanks.